There's two ways that you can fend off a, a little Kevin. See these little Karen bites, they don't really hurt. When Karen bites me, it doesn't really hurt. But Kevin doesn't respect my distance as much as he probably should. And when he bites, this is what it looks like. Wow. Oh, that's wow. It's definitely, it definitely hurts. And I might bleed, but uh, it doesn't always draw blood. Ow. That's Ben Christie. He's become a social media sensation thanks to videos like this of his urban rescue ranch in Austin, Texas. He quit his job at a software company to focus on that ranch full time. In addition to his Rias, Karen and Kevin, he has a kangaroo named after rapper DaBaby and plenty of other animals. And Ben joins us live this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? So how did this, when you call it an urban ranch, this whole idea started when you were in college, right? And, and you had a roommate who had a dog that went to the bathroom in your dorm room? Yes, my roommate's dog kept pooping in, my, uh, in the corner of my room and I kept saying, hey man, I could get a whole farm and they would probably poop less than this dog. Uh, so, and it was the end of senior year, so we already knew where we were going to be working and uh, so I just went out one day and grabbed a bunch of chicks, a bunch of ducklings, and next thing you know, they were laying eggs, uh, and everybody knew me as the chicken guy, so we were selling eggs on campus, and then people just started bringing me animals, uh, like pigeons that had fallen out of the nest, feral hog babies where their parents had been shot, uh, and we just started taking care of them, baby kittens, and uh, it just kind of spiraled from there. Yeah, I mean, it's really taken off here. 2.9 million followers, 78.7 .7 million likes on TikTok. Why do you think uh, this has exploded on social media so successfully? Uh, you know, we just kind of played around with little skits and stuff at first. You know, people love seeing animals, and, and uh, but we love doing little funny things, right? So Kevin, Kevin's our... Uh, He's, he's helping us fundraise, right, for, for, the, uh, for the wildlife rehab that we're starting in Waco. Um, people love seeing the, the weird, wacky animals and the things that are different, but um, the things we don't show on the cameras, the wildlife rehab and everything else that goes on on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so but, you're, uh, you're, uh, you're raising funds, um, and how far along are you to your goal to uh, opening this? We're getting there. Uh, well, it's it's going to be a little while uh, before we're we're fully you know out of the woods with with uh, with everything that we've done with loans for. But we we got a three acre place in Waco, uh, and we have been uh, you know fixing up a crack house. I sold my car and got a bus uh, for the, for the animals, uh, and uh, and things have been coming along. I'd say that we're probably about you know six months out uh, from being 100% uh, fully operational. Uh, with everything there when it comes to permits um, and when it comes to uh, cash I'd say we're probably about you know eighty thousand dollars out so uh, but we'll get there you quit your regular job you do this full time so do you do you make money by people you know it how do you how do you make a living on this so YouTube it's funny uh, you know I felt convicted about working uh, full time and making these videos and I was making videos on YouTube, Patreon and TikTok and TikTok's great but you don't make any minute, any money on TikTok at all. Oh. And um and unless you do partnerships. Uh so so YouTube is where the money started coming in and, and it was funny, you know, I felt like I was supposed to quit. I was praying about it and family was telling me uh you know uh and you know there's a certain point where i work from home especially for in sales for a software company you know it's, it's very easy to kind of just steal time it's very easy to be on your phone it's very easy to you know and we all do it to an extent uh -huh. maybe you um but uh but i i realized that and i started to feel convicted about it so after a while i i made the decision to quit and then the day after uh, the day after I quit, um, that one video that you guys just showed jumped up to 5 million views. And then all the other videos started getting, you know, 1 million views here, 2 million views here. And it was just the greatest blessing. So, wow. Uh, well, it's amazing. And just so I know that Kevin, it's a Rhea? I don't even know what that is. It looks like kind of an, an ostrich, ostrich thing. And it bites you? Yeah. They're from South America. They're very similar to ostrich and emu, but, okay. um, but they're a bit smaller and people don't know much about them, but uh, they're a lot safer in spite of what you just saw. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, because uh, they'll never kick you for the most part. Yeah. Um, so yeah.
That, it's just amazing what you're doing, uh, and, and we wish you all the best here. Uh, check out the website there, urbanrescueranch.com, uh, to make a donation and help them raise funds here to open this uh, sanctuary here. There's the information on social media. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ben.